recoveries. It's just your favorite recovery. Guess what today is? Today is September 21st, 2023. And I am four years clean from heroin, y'all. Four years. I just thank the fucking heavens above. I thank God. I think I just thank everybody man I thank everybody who was on my team who stuck by my side through these last four years I know it was not easy at all um I had a great support team you guys if it wasn't for drug court giving me that opportunity to become a better version of myself uh and let me out of that jail to kind of get my life together that's what drug court is it's it's an opportunity y'all it's not no freaking punishment it's an opportunity y'all need to use that opportunity and utilize your time when you're in the program um i mean i think a lot of people's struggles out here are they don't know the resources that they might have available to them within the community um for myself i mean i can i can say i had a, a strong a strong team on my side I know I slipped up in the first, or I mean in the beginning of drug court, and I remember I thought that they were going to send me to jail because I came up dirty, but they freaking praised me for being honest. It's an honest program, um, and all I can do is just think about, I didn't want to go to court that day because I knew I was dirty. I thought she was going to take me to jail, but she didn't. She gave me an opportunity to get my shit together. Um, she did scare me, though, <laughs> but that's cool. If it wasn't for that program, who knows? I'd probably be dead right now. So I just thank God, and I thank drug court, and I thank, I thank the people that have backed me, like Miss Laura Haas. You know, without her always being there to mentor me, kind of putting me in the right places when I need to be, you know, telling me how it is. You need somebody to tell you how it is. Know what you're doing wrong and shit like that. So me not to sugarcoat anything. Uh, so guess what, you guys? My channel has a whole new look to it. So I appreciate you guys' patience. I did take a little bit of time off after the event that I threw um, in August, and I just want to say again, thank you to all you guys who came out to support and show cause. I mean, uh, show, show support for the cause. Um, my judges, thank you so much. Uh, Miss Alice Pauser, Miss Laura Haas, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I have a lot of new collaborations this season. I'm, a, I'm a calling it season because I'm clean. This is my fourth year clean, and we about to start it all right. Uh, other than that, uh, I have a lot of people coming on within the next couple weeks and stuff like that to provide their stories and their hope. A lot of people from other agencies within the Milwaukee County area and the resources that they have available for our community. Um, I think that's the problem also that people don't know what resources are available within our community. And a lot of people, um, I just think that you gotta get off your ass, y'all. If you wanna get clean, you're gonna get clean. If you want it, you're gonna get it just like them drugs that you're gonna go get you know what i mean if you put your energy into your recovery like you do getting high i can fucking promise y'all this shit is so much better on this side i never thought this four years ago i never thought i was gonna get out of that slump and do the things that i'm doing now y'all i got a great job i have two cars with my partner I have two great kids in the household. I have an awesome partner that puts up with all my bull crap. I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world, guys. I would never go back to shooting dope. I would never go back any high. It's just not for me no more. The shit's not right. We are too old to be getting high for one. And another thing, I just wanted to make everyone aware of this right now. Um, I don't wanna say that I'm searching for other people in a in a uh, situation like this. So guys, when your kids go home, there are one in one out of eight children that are 17 years or younger that are going home 
to a household with a parent, if not both parents, addicted to a substance or alcohol. One out of eight, you guys. That's 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 terrible. So I'm looking to kind of collaborate with people who might um, be in a situation like that where they don't know what to do. Uh, maybe if you're a teenager or something like that and you're kind of scared of going home, uh, reach out, man. We're here to help you. Recovery Diaries, this is our lives. These are our stories and it's our recoveries. And it don't necessarily mean that you all have to be using drugs to come out here and share your hope. We out here for the community to show people what we have available out here. And right now, y'all got me. I'm out here recovering loud as fuck for the people that are recovering, or the people that are struggling in silence. I mean, I feel that when you recover out loud, you're doing it for the people that are struggling in silence because they are scared you guys there's a lot of people out here that don't know or don't want to tell people that they're on drugs so what i'm out here doing is i'm spreading spreading the message you guys i'm only one person everybody thinks i'm doing good on this channel i honestly don't know what i'm doing but just spreading hope i mean somebody might have a needle in their arm and want to overdose and kill themselves or whatever but they might see one of our videos and it might stop them. So I have a lot of other people on here that said they started their certain things because of my channel that I pushed them to do that. I don't think I did that. You had the courage to press record. You had the courage to tell your stories. Not me, I'm just doing my thing. I don't I don't know what I'm doing, but obviously I'm doing something for you guys. Um, and I, again, I appreciate the support. I can't fathom that enough. Um, I'm going to keep this kind of short, but I just wanted you guys to uh, stay tuned. I want to stay, again, I thank you so much for all you guys being part of this channel and part of my mission. Uh, <clears throat> let's get on here. Let's get some more stories going. I mean, I don't care if you're struggling, if you're not struggling, if you lost someone to an overdose, let's get you on here so that way we can uh, help the community better. Other than that, if you guys like the video, please like it down below and hit that subscribe button up top. Become part of the recovery family, y'all. This is our channel, you guys. But again, I just thank you. Four years clean today off of heroin. This shit feels amazing. I couldn't have done it without the support of my team and all the people that have my back. So again, I thank all of you individually. You know who you are, okay? Miss Laura Haas, I see you, girl. Other than that, again, you guys, thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next video. We got some, man, we got some major people coming out here, you guys. And if you want to share your story, hit me up, Recovery Diaries at gmail.com. The link is in the description. Hit me up, you guys. I love all of you. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.